Happy Monday, Internet! Today is the first day of classes back here at UNT, and I'm sure a lot of your universities have just started up their classes, too. Um, and because of that, I didn't think to write a script, but I do have an idea of what I'm going to do for you. This is an intro song. This is an intro song. This is an intro song for my blog. First, I have so many flipping stringed instruments, it's ridiculous. I've got my mandolin. My most likely out of tune ukulele. Eh. And now, I've got a kid's guitar because my hands are tiny. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, and it's out of tune too. Anyway, now to the meat of my vlog. Today, as you can tell, I am sporting a bow tie, and no, it is not a clip-on, it is a for realsies bow tie. You can tell because of the layers, and also it goes around my neck. So, I'm going to teach you how to tie a bow tie. Okay, so first you're going to want a collared shirt. Um, I've tried bow ties with not collared shirts, kind of looks like that, and it's not very attractive. So, get your collared shirt, pop up the collar, all the way around. Next you're going to get your bow tie. Make sure it's sitting flat. I like to sort of shimmy it. See? So you're going to take your bow tie and you have your two fishes, right? You're going to make the head of one of your fish meet your neck. And you're going to cross over and you're going to tie it. And make it tight but don't choke yourself. And throw it to the side. You don't need it right now. You're going to take your second fish, the one that's still in the front. See? You're going to take it, and you're going to sort of fold it over itself so it creates a little bow on one side, it'll be flat on the other. And you want to kind of center it so it's even-ish to where your collar bits meet. You're going to take that fish that you threw aside, try and center this as best you can, but you'll be fixing it later, so don't worry. And then you're going to pull it through, and this is really hard to show, but you can feel the, uh, the loop that you need to use whenever uh, you go back there. Alright, so you've got your fish. Really bad at this. Okay. You pull it through. Sort of. At least get yourself so you can put your finger through it on this side. Alright. Alright. So this is way too loose, okay? This will fall off, it'll undo itself, it won't be good. So what you'll do is you'll pull. Like you're tightening about, like a, like you're tightening your shoes. This looks really silly. You're not going to leave it like this, right? So what you're going to do is once you've tightened it, you're going to hold on to that middle knot to make sure that you don't lose its shape, and you're going to pull this back a little bit. You're going to pull the back piece a little bit as well, and basically you're just going to continue doing that until you find a good shape for your bow tie. Right? That looks about right. I mean, I'm doing this in a camera, so it's hard to tell. And if it doesn't look like it's tight enough, just pull it tight again and do the same thing. And you're going to be adjusting for a little bit until you get uh, more comfortable with your bow tie. And different bow tie materials work differently. So like this one's uh, silk and it's really, really slippery. So it's easy to accidentally lose it and have it come undone when you're tightening like I did a couple of seconds ago the first time I was trying to record this right here. Yeah, so just got to be kind of careful of that. So. Now you have a, ooh, hello, come on, fairly decently tied tie. All right, cool. And now you're ready to go out on the town. Now, in my opinion, bow ties can be worn any day of the week for any particular occasion. It doesn't have to be just for uh, going out to dinner. As you can tell, I'm wearing mine, and I've been wearing it to my classes today. So, that's all for now. I will see you all on Wednesday.